it's not often that we feature 20 year old cars on the channel believe it or not the mark 1 vrs is 20 years old this one specifically is from 2004 and for the last 12 years this thing has been running a stage 3 setup from pete's automotive and i'm going to tell you all about this amazing build today The Mark 1 VRS is now more or less 20 years old. But even to this day, I think this is such a timeless design. 20 years on, it still looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Now, the current owner hasn't done any sort of crazy cosmetic mods to it. It looks pretty much stock. Uh, of course, you have these super lightweight forged wheels. Uh, behind them, you have some upgraded brakes. It's running Bilstein uh, suspension as well. So the stance is a little lower. It's also running HNR lowering springs. Okay, slight confusion. Before it was on HNR's coilovers, but now it is on Bilstein's B12 Pro kit. Back to the video. Uh, the owner had Eibach before, but it was a little bit too stiff, a little bit too uncomfortable for him. So these springs completely fit his purpose. And at the rear, you can see a nice little oval exhaust for the Miltec uh, full system exhaust. And overall, I think this is a really nice looking car, even 20 years on. And if I had an option to buy it today, I would still do it, but I don't have any use for such of a car. So maybe not now, but maybe in the future, I'll have a full VRS spec garage. Laura, Mark 1, Mark 3.5, and if the Mark 4 comes, that as well. So this thing is running something called as the VRS 300 package by Pete's Automotive and this car has been running this particular setup for the last 12 years. The current owner bought the car roughly two years ago and has put 50,000 super hard, super enthusiastic kilometers on it and it's been running completely fine. Of course, it's a little bit of an old car, so some issues here and there keep creeping up, but nothing really major to be honest. And the mod list on this thing is insane. It's running a JBS hybrid turbo, Forge Motorsport intercooler, Forge Motorsport intake tips, a KNN open air filter, then it's running Hitachi coils, Bosch Iridium spark plugs, HNR anti roll bars, a Quaif limited slip differential. Uh, these wheels that you see are forged aluminum wheels and it's running a Miltec full system exhaust. And this thing sounds absolutely wonderful. Have a listen. So driving the stage 3 Mark 1, lots of lag, but once you're in it, old school power. Newer cars just don't feel like this. And it's very rare to see a turbo upgraded Mark 1 VRS. Basically, this car has been completely built by Pete's tune, they have this package called as the VRS 300 package and this is basically that. <laughs> this is such a raw driving experience. Even the LoRa didn't feel raw like this. Now is it actually 300 horsepower? Well, maybe at the crank and maybe some of those ponies have been lost over the years. But this thing has been running this particular setup, especially in terms of the engine, for the last 12 years, which is so impressive. The current owner has been owning it for, I think, so the last two years. And he's driven more than 50,000 kilometers, that too, very hard, very enthusiastic kilometers on this particular setup. 
which goes to show you that if you take care of things they will last and especially for a mark 1 vrs especially with all of the uh, you know aura that is around it regarding how unreliable it is and how difficult it is to maintain this car having this setup for the last 12 years goes to show you that you know if you take care of it do all of the periodic maintenance and everything everything can just last for however long you want we're just heading on to orr so let's see how this thing is once you put your foot flat down So we've gotten onto the Mexican ORR and let's see how this thing is. Oh my god. It's incredible that a car which is well, I think so more than 20 years old can do this sort of stuff. <laughs> It's not the fastest thing around but just the engagement the driving experience and that old school raw power it's just incredible and the car stays stable because it has bilstein uh, suspension it has upgraded brakes it has an upgraded clutch it's basically everything that you would ever need to build this car properly and what peach tune has done exactly is they've replicated basically the mark 4 golf gti and put it all into this car and this 5 speed manual little difficult uh, in terms of slotting and all but yeah and the miltech full system exhaust sounds perfect not too loud and perfect heel and toe this is so much fun to drive and it's so stable if you have a mark 1 vrs and you have some money lying around if you have the balls go for this sort of a build because this is just epic fun to drive a big thank you to the owner for letting us drive his beauty uh this has been an incredible drive and i'm driving off into the sunset subscribe to the channel help us hit 100000 subscribers follow us on instagram and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye